I am Phil Creighton from the Shadow Chasers, and I'm here to discuss the uh, review the non-contact thermal uh, thermal scanner and thermal couple probe device. This is a very handy device. Runs off of a CR uh, two twenty thirty two battery, which is a little pricey. Sometimes they can be really annoying to find too. Um, they cost you probably about four dollars or six for a battery. Depends on where you go. And uh, very compact design. You've seen these probably on Ghost Hunters, usually blue or uh, Ghost Adventures, like yellow or blue. Um, what this does is up here we have your non contact thermal scanner again. You point it in a direction and you'll get the reading across the top. Wherever you're pointing this and pressing the top button, you'll get the top reading, which is the thermal scanner. Whenever you press the bottom button, you're going to be measuring with a thermal couple probe. This is designed for baking and uh, testing liquids and stuff like that, where you stick it in it so it's immersed, then measure the temperature. Now, the way that this works is if you stick it like this, you're measuring pretty much the immediate air right around us. So, this is much, much more reliable and much better than a normal Raytec thermometer, uh, non-contact scanners, simply because you're measuring the immediate air around this device rather than pointing out in the distance and measuring for temperature drop. You can point at the ceiling. If you're holding it like this, you're pointing straight up. You're not measuring anything uh, other than the ceiling or if you're outdoors, measuring the sky, which would usually cause an error fall out. But again, the thermocouple probe is the saving grace of this device so because you can measure the air immediately around it. You can keep it like this, however the warmth of your hands will actually contaminate the results. So if you're holding it like this and scanning with the thermocouple probe, you're only going to be measuring like the immediate area right around this device and the like good chances where you've warmed up the device with your hand or even if your thumb slips. You, know, you measure. So, really good device, really compact design, um, a little bit pricey for batteries, um, 30 to 40 dollars depending, and it's much more reliable, much more solid.